also our drone is not working so this place would be epic for some drone footage but unfortunately you guys don't get that today we've been here for a few hours um well maybe like an hour and a half we're gonna head back to fajardo and go home let out pen we will definitely be back to flamingo this is so beautiful I loved it. So I wanted to just take a few minutes to talk to you guys a little bit more of the details of the trip so you have a better idea and you're more prepared going into it. I had a really hard time with the audio. Um, I just had the GoPro, so that's what it was filmed on. I think I have the Hero 6. So it was a little bit harder. So I couldn't talk a whole lot and a lot of my talking footage I couldn't use. We booked through travelerpr.com. We went on the Tobias Adventure and this um, ran from 9.30 in the morning to 4 p.m. It was all day. Um, we showed up about 9 o'clock and signed in and then just waited for everybody to get on the boat. So it's a super smooth check-in. We just go to a little hut on the marina and then from there you'll, they'll point you towards which boat is yours. So we all your snorkeling gear and it was nice. It wasn't like outdated or broken or anything like that. So that was really, really good. So next is the cost. It was $103 per adult and it's $85 for kids six to 12. I'm guessing if they're under six, they're not really allowed. It was a really choppy ride to get out there. We um, it's, we went in the rainy season in October, so it was it was pretty rainy that day. There was more storm brewing than normal, so I think the waves were probably more than normal. But for me, I tend to get seasick, so I wanted to make sure to be at the front. They told me exactly where to sit so I could watch everything and make sure that I was not going to get sick and I didn't get sick. I'm really thankful that I didn't because it's no fun to be sick on a boat in the middle of the ocean. So the ride was about 45 minutes to like an hour. Um, it, it felt like a full hour, but it, I think it was around that 45 minute to hour range. But I'm sure if you go on a day where it is beautiful and sunny and no rain, you're more likely going to have bluer water, more clear water, and then less choppy stuff. And you can probably go a lot faster to the destination. So your experience might be a little bit different. Um, and of course, the conditions of the weather and um, I'm sure like the sea life and stuff like that all depends on where they go. I think there's about uh, four or five different places that they go and they only take you to two of them. So your experience may not be exactly at Flamingo Beach. There was like a sea turtle place that they told us about and we couldn't go there because of the weather. So it just kind of depends what the weather is like where you're going to go so just keep that in mind. We did get served a meal for lunch so that was really really convenient that they fed us food so we didn't have to pack it. It was basically like sandwiches, pasta, their um, tuna salad was amazing. Um, really good bread. So I mean, it wasn't like gourmet, but it was it was just fine for what we needed. So what we brought was our personal towels, of course, swimsuit. We just wore those. I wore shoes that I didn't really care about if they got wet. Um, everything like at the end of the boat is open, so you don't want to take anything super valuable in case that like say you drop it and it falls off the back. Just keep that in mind. Of course, a waterproof camera will be great so you can keep your memories when you get home. Um, so whether that's a GoPro or um, you can buy like underwater housing for your iPhones. I don't have that, but I've seen other people use stuff like that. I did take my um, main camera as well because I wanted a few photos. It really was a hassle. Um, I took a backpack and I put my valuables in a plastic bag. I think I might have even put it in two plastic bags in case it got wet. Because um, of course whenever we're going in the boat as well, you get water in. So, I made sure to keep everything waterproof and I wanted to make sure that my large camera did not get affected. The staff was incredible. We had a great time with them. I believe there were four people um, in charge of all of us and depending on the time of year that you go, the boat fits like, I think they said 50 people, which would be absurd to me, um, 50 or 60 people. We had 10 maybe in our group and it was perfect. 
So whenever you call, just see how many people are scheduled for the day. I would say like more than 20 or 25 would be really, really, really uncomfortably crammed. But if it is winter season when um, here gets very popular, it's really likely that it is gonna be pretty full. Um, they do have another option for a catamaran tour and that might fit more people and be more comfortable, I'm not really sure. But just keep that in mind whenever you're booking that there could be a lot of people on the boat with you um, or there could be a really small amount. So you can call ahead and ask and see. But if you're staying in Condado, I think they do have options for getting charter there so you don't have to rent a car and like i said we did not have our drone that was through the point where um we had gone through like four drones and they were all broken and couldn't use them and it just didn't work out um i think that was like number four whenever we went to colubra so we hope to go back and if so we will totally drone everything apparently it's like a top 10 beach in the world i think a lot of people say that like about their favorite beaches but it really was incredible. Um, the sand was was so good. But of course, if you have questions, just comment below and I would be happy to answer them for you. Be on watch for my next video featuring the Wyndham Rio Grande Hotel in Rio Grande. I am hoping to edit that soon and that will be my next video. Super excited. And just to close this out, I would definitely recommend the Tobias excursion and I'm sure the Catamaran cruise would be amazing as well. But just go to travelerpr.com and that's where you can find all of the information. But until then, I will see you guys on Instagram. You can find me at Michaela B. I'll have it written out right after I close this video. And I will see you in that next video.